Hey, and welcome back. If you couldn't tell by the pile of shells down here, we've already had this guy out to the range. I just couldn't wait. But can you blame me? A 410 AR. Lots of cool stuff to talk about with this thing. That's what's coming up next. Let's get to it. So our friends at American Tactical spent about six years making sure that they got this guy right before it was released. Whether or not they did, I'll let you decide that after seeing the shooting impressions video. Here on the tabletop, I want to go over what makes this thing tick as best I can tell. So, first and foremost, one of the biggest issues with uh, magazine-fed shotguns is the rimmed casing. Anyone who's uh, played with uh, 76254 or heck, even a high capacity 22 has seen what happens when these rims catch on each other and uh, cause all kinds of feeding issues. So there is a challenge in getting a magazine that's vertical and not tubular like most shotguns to function right. I'll show you what they did. First off, they kind of idiot proofed it. You can look through this corner on the back. These are all slugs to make sure that they're angled correctly. That is that the one on top is forward of the one beneath it. And then uh, something I just had to show you because I think it's pretty cool are these windows to let you see how many rounds are in the magazine. Which is you know simple brilliance but one of those things that's uh, nice to have done. You might notice this magazine looks very AR-ish at the top and that's because this upper will function on any AR lower. You do have to swap over the buffer and spring. We'll take a look at that in a bit. And uh, But the versatility of a shotgun, you know, this, this pile of shells you see here, we've got some birds, some buck, some slugs, some home defense stuff, all kinds of crazy rounds uh, that's out there thanks to stuff like the Judge and some of the other guns out there that have really uh, inspired ammunition makers to make a variety of loads for the 410. Uh, now this upper only will cycle two and a half inch. Uh, that's because we do have the limitations of what magazine will fit in an AR lower. But you know what? There's still plenty of options out there. I'm going to clear this stuff out of the way and then we'll take a closer look at the gun. So of course we'll start off by showing clear. Obviously no magazine. Check the chamber and it's empty. Look at that. Functions just like the AR-15 that you're familiar with and comfortable with. That's one of the really neat things about this is control wise, accessories, furniture, stuff like that uh, is going to accept stuff straight off of the AR-15 market which is already out there. Now we've got the red dot on here. That's what we were shooting it with uh, when we took it out. But uh, really cool concept here. It comes with their Omni Lower. Now they've been going through generation after generation of this continuing to improve these polymer lowers. I know early polymer lowers, uh, regardless of who they were made by, had some issues with cracking and things like that. That, um, from what I hear, has been resolved. Only uh, long-term shooting will tell us uh, if that's true or not. This is a nice and snug fit, so popping these pins is a little more difficult than normal. That had Come a on. super snug fit. So. First off, to uh, take a look at the lower, this is the polymer lower. You can see it's got some metal reinforcement at the high stress areas and standard trigger, which uh, means you can swap in pretty much any trigger you like for ARs. One thing I appreciate about, appreciate about these Omni lowers is the anti-walk pins that they use by threading in there. Nice flare to the magwell. Makes it cool and easy. Nice broad trigger guard there, and no little pinch point there for getting patrol knuckle, as I call it. Now the upper, this is a key mod handguard, and it goes dark through here. Can't quite tell what's underneath. It's supposed to be a short piston system, is what they describe it as. I don't see 
quite where that happens unless it's coming through where the gas tube normally would be. There's nothing magical or special on the charging handle which doesn't reciprocate of course. And here is our bolt, our AR-15 ish. I'm gonna wipe this thing down real quick because uh, like I said we took this out for some shooting and uh, we'll take a closer look and we're back. Now the bolt carrier is this nice beautiful stainless finish. The bolt itself is spring-loaded and you can see down in through there. Camera stay with us, there we go. See the spring in there. The firing pin itself is not spring-loaded and the retaining pin is a roll pin, so they obviously don't expect you to want to or need to knock that out very often. Cam pin is rounded. See, so we've got two locking lugs and an external extractor. It's an interesting setup, quite different from uh, your standard, and yet the upper exterior wise looks pretty normal. Um, this thing was great to shoot. Uh, you'll see the loads that we tested uh, and how it ran in our shooting impressions video. I just wanted to give you an up close look at this because it's quite different and as far as I know it's the first of its kind on the market. Uh, we did uh, run it through heavy and light loads, high velocity and low velocity loads, quite a range to see what it would eat and what it wouldn't eat. Uh, but Overall operation, just like an AR-15, pretty cool. Slap this upper on your favorite dialed-in lower, and you've got yourself a slug machine. 15-round magazines are available. It comes with a 5-round magazine, and uh, I'm just, I'm excited about this. So I don't have much more to say. Hopefully I'm giving you enough of a look at it. It is just a fun concept, very practical I think in that uh, you could maybe use this as a grouse gun, you could use it as a home defense gun, uh, you could use it to introduce someone to shotgunning, lots of different potential applications here. Let me know what your thoughts are down below and uh, don't forget to click the bell so you know when our shooting impression video comes out. It's already been filmed and processed. Sorry to tease you like this but that's the way it goes in YouTube land. Thanks for watching.